Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, Series 1 80 inch petrol. Um, I think it's ex RAF this one, it's certainly ex military, but uh, just found a, a stencil under the bonnet that seems to, uh, seem to say it's ex RAF. Um, it's on a G registration, it was first civilian registered in 1969, and back in those days I didn't care too much about um, dateless plates and stuff like that. Uh, I think if you get hold of a, um, a motor in British Motor Industry Heritage Trust certificate or um, military vehicle. Um, association certificate that uh, shows its true age. We think it's a 1952-53 model uh, that shows its true age and the DVLA will issue it with a, um, uh, an age-related plate and what have you. Um, but the minute it's on a G plate, so it is actually MOT'd, it's only just been MOT'd this January. According to the previous owner, it's just been completely rebuilt. Um, no reason to disbelieve it. I've got to go through the photos and stuff. They're all on a disc at the moment. Um, but it's, uh, it's rather nice and dries beautifully, but it is a proper uh, proper 80 inch soft top, um, finished in, uh, in grey um, and it's actually been properly repainted rather than uh, brushed or, uh, or rolled or anything. Um, let's go around it, what's it got on it? Uh, da, 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 da. Not a lot really, very standard spec in fairness. Um, even a grumpy dog in the back, it doesn't come with it. Three seats across the back of it, across the middle there. but. Uh, no tow bar on it, um, that's about it, about as standard as you can find. Don't know what these brackets are for, I think there's something to do with um, some sort of entrenching tool, um, but possibly if it's XRAF it could be a, a follow me sign or something I guess. Anyway, um, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits, it looks very straight actually, especially down the sides, possibly it's had new, uh, new outer wings on it at some point. Um, wing tops are a bit sort of Crinkly and stuff, as you'd expect, it is uh, substantially old now. It's 60 years old, getting on for now. Um, bonnet's all nice. A little bit crinkly here around the near side um, indicator. Obviously, the indicators have been put in at a later stage. I'd imagine it would have had um, semaphores at one point. A um, bit crinkly around there, but otherwise it's not bad. Down the near side front wing, it all looks pretty nice and straight. A couple of just tiny marks just there where it's uh, just rubbed against something. Um, looking down the near side again, very straight, especially in the doors actually, oddly enough. Doors look very good. Now apparently it has been rebuilt around the new bulkhead. Um, I do need to check the photos on that, but that's what we were told in writing by the previous owner. And to be honest, looking at the state of it, I've got no reason to disbelieve him. It looks, um, looks like it is a new one. It looks to be in great shape actually. Um, still got the Perspex side, side screens. This is all correct in here. In here, the doors have obviously had um, sound deadening put on them at some point. Bit of a waste of time if you ask me, but there you go. And that's probably the original um, RAF blue colour under there. It's now, it is now more grey than blue, more sort of battleship grey, but um, still looks off apart. I don't know, I suppose it is bluey grey. That <laughs> um, looks very good in there. Bit of mud that's come up there. We hit a massive puddle when it a minute ago and covered the interior with water. I just missed that bit, but that's that all looks nice. That all looks nice. I'm not going to answer that. Um, seat backs possibly could do with a little bit of refinishing at the bottom there. They just sort of start to come away a bit at the very bottom of the seat back there. Uh, looks like it's got fairly new bases. These look new. Um, and it's all correctly grey in the back. The tilt is okay. It's um, it's not in the in the first flush of use, shall we say? Tilt's pretty good. Uh, there is one tiny, tiny hole which you might be able to see just up there, just near the back, just in the middle, uh, about an inch across. But no more than that. But uh, the new tilt isn't the um, um, isn't going to break the bank on one of these. The one reason I'm, I, I would possibly think about replacing the tilt, the rear window has been replaced with a slightly um, harder one, so it doesn't roll up quite as tightly. Uh, Although you can see through it, which is always a good thing. Um, but as I say, the, the, the tilt is a bit sort of old and stained and what have you. Still got the, uh, um, are they pork pies or D lights? I can't recall, but they're the, the nice lights on them. Um, and around the tail end, it all looks very good. Chassis wise, I need to see what's been done, but it was taken back to the bare chassis apparently, so uh, you'd like to think it was good. It's certainly uh, just been a motif. Um, down the offside, again, very, very straight, very nice. Uh, nothing really much I can say about that, it's just very good. 
bulkhead corner, excellent, it's all nice, it's all good. Let's have a look inside. Again, it all looks spot on down there, really nice. Dash hasn't been cut about or anything, that's all uh, exactly as it should be. Just um, really spot on. That's about it, I think. Um, my name's Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0118. 907-1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for the credit cards and we can have it shipped anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.